In this video, we will use the embedded PID setup windows to configure the PID loop for our oven control system. The embedded setup and auto-tune windows speed up the program development. The following settings are a typical setup for an oven control. From the project tree, expand the menu to the internal parameter window to make visible the PID loop setup. Double-click the PID setup selection to open the embedded PID setup window. The embedded PID window will open. From here, you have access to the PID setup parameters for each loop. These parameters are available for use in ladder logic when runtime changes are necessary. Select Auto for Operation Mode. Set Operational Loop Direction to Forward. Secondary Anti-Windup Disabled. This setting selection enables Integral Windup Prevention. Derivative Term Calc Mode is set for Error. This is used when the derivative term is used in the PID calculation. Pulse Width Modulation is disabled as Analog Control will be used for the MV output. The initial set point value is left at zero. This value will be set during auto tuning. The scan period is set to 100. This is a 10 millisecond calculation cycle. The P, I, and D values are left as shown. In this application, the working values will be determined with auto tuning. The delta PV limit is set at zero. The delta MV limit is set to zero. The MV max and min values set the range the MV can output. They are left at the total range of the PID control loop. The manual MV is left at zero. The deadband setting value is left at zero. The set filtering coefficient is left at zero. The PWM contact is left at default as PWM MV output has been disabled. The PWM output period is left at default. It is not used in the PID loop in this application. The SV ramp is left at the default value of zero. The PV tracking is left at the default value of zero. The min and max PV values are left at the full range of the PID loop. Click OK. Open the PID Auto-Tuning Setup window by double-clicking the Auto-Tuning menu selection. These parameters are available for use in ladder logic when runtime changes are necessary. The operational loop direction is set for forward. Pulse width modulation is disabled as an analog output channel will be used for the MV output. The initial set point value is left at zero. This value will be set during auto-tuning. The scan period is set to 100. This is a 10 millisecond calculation cycle. The MV max and min values set the range the MV can output. They are left at the total range of the PID control loop. The PID contact is left at default as PWM MV output has been disabled. The PWM output period is left at default. It is not used in the PID loop in this configuration. For this application, we will set the hysteresis to a value of 10. This will account for any signal noise of the PV around the SV. Click OK. The settings made in the PID setup and auto-tuning windows must be downloaded to the PLC. These parameters are not sent to the PLC during the configuration. From the online menu, select right and follow the prompts as loading a ladder program. The PID loop is now configured with the basic parameters and is ready for ladder logic programming in order to control the loop. Save the project to retain the embedded setup values. PID configuration, basic manual tuning, and ladder programming for loop control is covered in other videos in this series. For additional information related to the XGB PLC family of products, visit the links below.